studies show that heroin use in the U.S. is up, of course, due to an increase in the addiction to painkillers. Fox 30's Chelsea Jones talks to a local psychologist about the reasons behind this upward trend. Heroin abuse in the U.S. is on the rise, especially among youth, according to a recent report by the Center for Disease Control. What's causing this increase? An upward surge in addiction to opioids or painkiller medications. There's more and more people that are being diagnosed with chronic pain type conditions because of our aging population and because of our medical treatment has advanced. So one of the primary treatments of choice are pain pills. He explains that people often become addicted to painkillers due to their pleasant side effects. Painkillers actually block the perception of pain and they also elevate a chemical in our brain called dopamine. Dopamine is responsible for uh, a sense of euphoria and pleasure and a sense of well-being. So human beings really like that effect. People addicted to painkillers may soon turn to heroin to feed their habit. Hogan adds that the heroin that's now being sold on the streets is also more potent than ever before. They are making it very pure. They're wanting to send out very pure heroin because that's going to create dependence and addiction quicker. Um, it's going to be uh, creating a better customer for them. In February, President Obama proposed $1.1 billion in funding to confront this national epidemic. Medical providers have taken action as well. Um, they're providing contracts that if for some reason they uh, do a drug screen and the individual they're prescribing pain medications to are um, positive for any other type of illicit drug, then they may cut them off or change them to a different medication. Hogan encourages people to seek help from a treatment center if they suspect that someone they know is addicted to heroin or painkillers. Absolutely, treatment does work. Uh, for someone that has a dependence or an addiction, detox is primary. And of course, when someone has a dependence or an addiction, uh, that is not just a behavioral problem, that is a medical problem. So medical detox is absolutely warranted. And then, of course, we want to, them to experience uh, or participate in a treatment program, and then we can go from there. Chelsea Jones reporting, Fox 30 News.